Many MPs worked much of lockdown this year in their constituencies. This is Tavistock in Sir Geoffrey Cox's seat. Some attended the Commons in Westminster, but Sir Geoffrey Cox spent a chunk of the year working in the British Virgin Islands and was paid handsomely by the government there for representing them in a UK-led inquiry into corruption. Uh, th those I represent, I think, accept entirely that it is central to the democratic idea that the purpose of elected office is to serve the public. Um, it is not to enrich the office holder. The Register of Interest shows that Sir Geoffrey Cox in the last year earned a million pounds in work conducted outside Parliament. A number 10 spokesperson suggested it wasn't so much what he earned as the hours worked that mattered. And if he wasn't available and visible to his constituents, they were permitted to take a dim view of that. So, how many hours was he actually working outside Parliament? Our tally suggests 1,150 in the last 12 months. Assuming a 10-hour day, that's about a third of the year. They failed to comply with their statutory obligations. And I reflect how many <laughs> I certainly have occasionally fallen down on mine. And so have many of my colleagues in the House. As MPs voted that day, Sir Geoffrey Cox, under the Covid rules, cast his vote by proxy from the Caribbean. Sir Geoffrey Cox has held his seat for 16 years and won last time round with a 25,000 majority. How can he be representing people here in West Devon if he's spending a month in the Virgin Islands? Obviously it's nice if he could share the uh, extra money with, uh, with us, that would be fantastic, but reality is we've all got to earn a living and if that's going to be doing extra things on the side, as long as it's legal, then I don't really see an issue. We would like our MP to be back here now, looking after us in Devon. We need our MP back here now, not earning thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds, 4,000 miles away. Earlier, the Justice Secretary was asked if he could imagine working as many hours outside Westminster as Geoffrey Cox does. If you weren't a minister and you were offered a role to work 140 hours a month, would you be able to do that? No. Why do you think Mr Cox has been able to do that? I think it's a, you know, for a start, he's a much better lawyer than I am. Um, but also, I mean, it depends on their facts. It's not for me to second guess or judgment or, 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 or call into judgment um, what uh, uh, other MPs do. A managerial and bureaucratic approach to politics will not suffice in our present situation. Sir Geoffrey Cox introduced Boris Johnson at his leadership campaign launch. Boris Johnson, himself a big outside earner as a backbencher, doesn't support an outright ban on second jobs. But this saga has revived talk of restricting what jobs or hours an MP should be allowed to undertake away from the constituency that elected them.